Burr, did you feel those chilly temperatures today? It was a freezing cold day and in fact didn't stop Northwest Ohio winds and Southern Michiganders from getting outside and enjoying a cold day along the Maumee. You saw some other crazy runners out there. I'm not the only one, Kaylee. There are others who like to brave the elements and that steam really indicative of how cold it was outside. Even going for a walk. Was that person wearing shorts? I thought I saw somebody wearing shorts, but make sure you have the hat and gloves and you are bundled up with this frigid weather. The sunshine was a nice treat to be seen and the Maumee River got chunks of ice on it along with Lake Erie starting to freeze over and the sidewalks and roads at least have been cleared off from snow for now, but we are forecasting the potential for more snow on the horizon. If you thought it was freezing today, you weren't wrong. In fact, today was the coldest morning of the winter season so far. Five degrees below zero. That's not even the wind chill. That is the air temperature for your Sunday. It is going to turn less frigid tomorrow. Wind chills are brisk and this morning we are below zero across the map, including Ottawa 10 below Napoleon 6 below 9 below in Lenawee County. Erie and Huron counties weren't quite as frigid, but still negative signs across the board. Our current temperature, if you are out and about late this evening in the teens, so we've made some headway in the temperature department, but still awfully chilly. Sunday, it's not going to be as cold. Best chance for sunshine is going to be in the afternoon hours with temperatures in the upper 20s. Monday, a pleasant start to the work week with brighter skies and temperatures in the lower 30s. Tuesday, the choice day to get some outdoor time if you're hoping for a milder setting with temperatures reaching the mid 40s almost a little taste of spring. Now the alert days we have issued remain in effect. This is going to be a long duration winter storm that's going to start off with some rain showers Tuesday night and transition to a wintry mix and snow by the middle of the week. There's still a high degree of uncertainty on the specific track of this system. And as you know from living around here long enough, that is something that changes and fluctuates, especially since we're so far out. What we do know is that Wednesday and Thursday, rain, ice and snow are all possible. It's still far too early to talk snow accumulations, although plan on getting some sticking snow out of this system. Let's break down the fact and the fiction, what we know right now here in the WTOL 11 Weather Center. This system is likely to start off as a wintry mix. That is not something that's going to change with temperatures in the 40s on Tuesday. It'll initially be rain, possibly sleet and then transition into snow. We also know for a fact this is going to be a long duration system, meaning it's going to last at least 48 hours, if not a bit longer. Now here's what's still up in the air and remains to be fine tuned. The specific snowfall amounts. It would be foolish to make a snowfall map this far out. There's still so much uncertainty with the computer models but we'll keep you updated when that information does become better and a little more consistent. Now the exact line of rain, snow and ice, that is also something that can change based on the trajectory of the storm system. Here's what the track looks like right now. Tuesday evening, we're going to see an initial band of some rain showers. Now remember that high temperature I showed you of 43 on Tuesday, well above freezing at first. There's the rain snow line though creeping into Northwest Ohio by early Wednesday. Now that could change. Maybe it will be colder early Wednesday, but what we are noticing is that some colder air works in from the northwest on this system and Wednesday there will be a transition from rain to mix to snow by Wednesday night into Thursday. We do get that moisture from the south. But we also get cold air from the northwest and that'll cause a transition to all snow. The best chance for heavy snowfall is going to be late Wednesday into Thursday, but there's still the potential for some wintry mix. See that pink color on the map right there? We find ourselves on that rain snow line oh so often around here, especially with these February systems. The northwestern side of the viewing area likely to get snow, but again, if this system moves a little bit, cold rain could be in the forecast for this winter storm. Here's a look at those alert days. Wednesday, ice turning to snow as temperatures fall into the 30s. Thursday is the best chance to get accumulating snow with temperatures down in the 20s. And one more point about this, whatever falls, whether that's rain, mix or snow, could refreeze with overnight lows dropping to the single digits and bitterly cold temperatures to follow. In the meantime, hope you can enjoy the rest of the weekend and those 40 degree temperatures on Tuesday.